lot of us want to build a very stellar looking resumes right which were which should actually when we can apply to firms like google or tesla or even infosys ibm in our country should i train all other resumes right so what are those pointers that uh, basics in fact that you'd like to follow in a product manager resume well to answer these kind of burning questions we have our in house expert mr manavendra singh who's our ceo at inset who has also mentored thousands of product managers you know in building that perfect resume so manav welcome to our show again thank you afreen and glad to be uh, here on the show well it's great to have you on our episode 7 telling us i think the seven basics to follow to build a stellar product manager uh, resume well i have my pen i have my paper everything ready i'm ready to make those pointers let us know yeah so um afreen if you when when we talk about the basics of any great resume a lot of the basics apply the same uh, way to a product management resume so to be honest it's not that you know it's something which is uh, very different Mm -hmm. but still it is important when we talk about basics and that's why this discussion or this video is about basics they, these are the prerequisites that you need to follow to make to be to call your resume as the top 1% resume you want that if you have worked hard for a particular role you don't want your resume to get get ding you know from different companies you want it to be selected and my goal through the seven basic series is to just give you that um, that recipe that will get you selected in every company so let's start with the first basics so the first basic uh, is uh, what we discussed last time also in the last episode uh, uh, afreen is the length of the resume one page or one and a half page or max two page one page is what i recommend number one okay. number two uh, um, afreen is that giving your or uh, work experience in a reverse chronological order which is very important reverse chronological order is starting with your latest work experience you sometimes i see candidates writing their experience in a um, uh, you know a chronological order if they started working in 2010 to 2021 they end up writing that yes. so it has to start with the latest first and then you have to move for move move back got it Th- this is the second reverse chron- chronological order yeah third is that you will uh, you that when people write um, about their designation you need to clearly write what is the designation that you are working working in what is the company and when you started working there right mm-hmm. possibly even the month if it is not like you don't have like 20 years of experience then you don't need to write the month etc okay. right and possibly the location right let's say bangalore or remote or whatever so that's the third the fourth uh, afreen is the education qualification uh, that you have right and if you have something uh, great uh, from an educational qualification i would highly recommend putting it um, in your resume uh, for example if you have if you were one of the top deans you made it to the deans list for example so you would, would definitely want to mention it mm-hmm. uh, fifth is any certifications that you have which are relevant okay right um which is you know something that uh, that you would want to do um again which is a very basic so if you have done a product management certification uh, just feel free to uh, put that okay. sixth is um possibly um have a summary at the top of what what your experience is you know let's say summary resume summary resume is uh, the very yeah. basic yeah. yes yeah so a resume summary how it helps uh, is that it gives uh a recruiter an idea or a brief about who you are and not make it too long just keep yeah. it uh two three lines and just talks about a little bit about your experience and you know gives those numbers mm-hmm. and the seventh and the most important uh, uh um you know a basic is that when you are making a resume uh try to keep the resume in finally when you are sending the resume send the resume in a pdf format i see people sending sometime by mistake sometime not knowing in yeah. word format but that's a strict strict no no you have to send a resume in a pdf format these are the basics and as you would see that as i said uh, because these are basics the whatever i've shared 
does not specifically apply for a product management resume yet it applies to a product management resume as well resume because as these well. are the basics these are the basics well i think uh, i think very very i think important pointers that you have mentioned here if i would just very quickly recap of all the pointers that you said and you can correct me if i'm going wrong somewhere Firstly, we focused on the length of the resume. Then, reverse chronology order. So, basically, hmm. your newest—I would rather say your experience, job, job, yeah, yeah. experiences in uh, first, and then uh, whatever have follows. Then, focus on your designation on how we're presenting our, uh, you know, time span we have worked for a particular, let's say, organization, and the location that we work, you know, in that hmm. organization. Education being the number next. I think after the experience, education should be placed. Yeah, once you're a working professional, is what I understand. Hmm. Because a lot of time we put education before uh, our experiences, right? So I think that is a very good pointer there. Mm-hmm. And certifications, uh, if required. So I'm sure all my school debate certificates goes out of my resume. Right. <laughs> I'm I'm sure we're editing that out of my mm-hmm. uh, resumes. Summary on top. I think uh, uh, you know once we are writing our names, so that gives you a very good outlook of what uh, as a person we can put forward. You know, and mm-hmm. in the end, PDF format to remember. Mm-hmm. So uh, I think that I've summed up all the points that you have just put up here. Yeah, absolutely, and you summed it really, really nicely. I think our, the, the, your viewers and our viewers will really appreciate that. Thank you so much, and thank you so much for giving us these beautiful pointers because I think this, like you said, not only are going to help product managers build a stellar resumes. I think everyone else uh, will definitely, after watching this video, will be going back to their resumes and updating them. So thank you so much, uh, Manav, for giving us these insights. Uh, as always, a pleasure having you here. Thank you, Afreen, and good to be here. Thank you. Bye.